What's up, everybody? Do you miss us? Do you wish you could carry us with you wherever you go? Yeah. No? Well, it's all right, because <laughs> guess what? We're bringing podcasts to you. And I'm not kidding. I know I was laughing, but seriously, we are bringing podcasts to you so you can listen to us on the go. Just go to the description box below, click on the links, and there you go. Also, if you like what you're hearing, give us five stars. If you hate it, keep it to yourself. Keep on trucking. <laughs> In crazy roommate news, Submitted by, why'd you do it? Oh. Why did you do that? Because they're crazy. That's right. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck my elbow. elbow. Arrested after using a lawnmower. <laughs> Wait, I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> that, that's right. like, yeah. A 72 year old man was arrested after using a lawnmower to fling gravel at his roommate's family. Wow, oh, shit. That that's is painful. Genius. <laughs> So he went over a gravel pit, you know how it shoots out, so yeah. it was like What a piece of shit! You know what though, the real loser is him, cause that's gonna fuck up his blades. It's probably an old one. I would get so jealous with people, cause I always had to like mow our lawn back at home, and then the people who had more money had that good shit, dude, where it would just pull by itself, and you really just have to put your hand on it. You got power steering? Did yeah. you have the, the one without the motor? No, I might had a motor, but then you would have to push as hard as you can over the grass. But the good shit had like five horsepower. Are you sure it wasn't just because you're weak? No, because it literally said five horsepower in neon green and I would stare at it in jealousy. And they would just literally just have one hand on it and they would just move. You couldn't just ask to borrow it? No, I don't talk to my neighbors. What the fuck? I must have been really <laughs> stupid because every time the freaking landscape guys came, I would fucking open the window and be like, I wish I was out there with you. <laughs> Why? Because I fucking forward? used to mow like my friends' lawns and stuff like that when their dad's outside. I was like, I want to try. And I'm like, that shit's so fun. And then the leaf blower and the fucking weed whacker, that shit's fun, dude. I wouldn't hire you. I, I helped my aunt uh, or her husband, my uncle, I guess. He has a landscaping business and over the summers, my mom would make me go over there and I would help out. I started a lawn mowing business, you know that? Like I got my friend's lawnmower and then we just went door to door and we were just like, can I cut your grass? And then they started giving us money. Mm. And then some ladies gave us like ice cream and shit and all kinds of random stuff. We weren't even looking for money. We we're just like, can I cut your grass? You guys are just bored. <laughs> yeah, cause it was so fun just cutting grass. Did you get <laughs> You're like, oh shit, we get money too? Like we don't we want this, money. we just yeah, want we, grass. Yeah, we were just, we just wanted, and, they, and then it turned into a business. That's right. Yeah. All right, so this story takes place in Texas. Texas. Texas, Galveston Texas. County. All right, so Galveston. this man named Johnny, 72 years old. What the fuck? This is what he looked like. Whoa! Oh. That shit looked like Count Dracula, dude. What the fuck? Do you That's... remember those late night horror stories? Yes! Yeah. That's what he reminds me of. Keeper. Yeah! Great. No, you know what he reminds me He reminds me of that one janitor in um, Harry Potter. Yes! Oh yeah, that guy too. Oh, What's his yeah. name? This guy I looks like he fucking rapes, murders, sells drugs, has a fucking child fucking labor camp like fucking I don't he looks like he does every like he wears people's skin for fucking pleasure and shit like every it, sin that you everything yeah. dude What's where did he get on? that tie-dye Superman shirt from what if he's really sweet though I doubt it I doubt it too I mean if he's sweet is he gonna get on his lawnmower and throw That's gravel at a nine-year-old like, legit looks like Count Dracula hasn't had blood in 4,000 years <laughs> That's what it looks like. Damn, that devil does look like a kind of guy that would do that with his lawnmower. He does, man. So his roommate has a nine-year-old daughter. <gasps> so when she could have died. Yeah, she got hit in the nose oh, and the forehead. Damn. Can I say something about ugly people? Please. <laughs> okay. Sometimes when I see people like that, I just want to attack them for no reason. Is that okay? <laughs> what? Is it because you feel like they already did a bunch of wrong stuff? I feel like they're villains. Like they're wrong. It's like, not like the same kind of mentality as racism. But it's ugly <laughs> Okay. Like I don't judge by the color of your skin. I judge by how ugly your face is. But we're um, all ugly what? to someone. I don't give a fuck. They could come attack me. I know self-defense. That's why I take karate. <laughs> That's why he takes karate. karate. Right <laughs> he looks... Okay, he's not an average, like, white person, you know? He's he's a fucking, he's a villain. I'll tell you this, I 100% agree, because when I watched The Elephant Man, I wasn't sad. But I was, he was nice. I was happy that he was stuck in that cage. But it, what? He was a nice wow. character. I'm fucking kidding, Joe, you monster. What's wrong with you, dude? <laughs> hey. Anybody? Sarcasm, Geo. What are you, fucking 12? You know what? Blame the movies. The movies... That's what made guys like this look like villains and monsters. But he is a villain in real life. He really is. So I'm gonna show you guys a video. So I wouldn't be wrong. He's shooting rocks at kids. 
If I 300 kick him in the fucking chest, I don't give a damn if he's 76. Well, he claims he didn't know that the daughter was there. I wonder if he's done anything else to her oh, because I'm they live sure. together. Looks well, like he that. said that he had kicked them out or something. I don't know. Here, let me show you guys a video. Fuck, dude, I'd be depressed if I had a roommate like that. Here we go. Go ahead, come on, do it again. Oh, do it what again. the fuck? Moments before the scandal of Bennett and Chris Fondo say they were caught in a cloud of gravel. Sam coming straight down the driveway. And he just did like a donut Ooh. and just sprayed us with, I mean, it, it felt like bullets, but it was gravel. He was moving because he was shooting them rocks like crazy. The gravel punctured the tires, <laughs> shattered so windows, yeah. but also oh, hit shit. in that it came through here. What? That rock hit Fontenot in the chest and others pelted Angela and her nine-year-old. Right, right across the bridge of her nose. He's old enough to know better. You know, the man on the mower claims he asked them to leave. Man, they need a ban of salt mowers. Out of Santa Fe jail. My name's Brittany Jeffers. I work for Channel 2. What when I fuck? asked him, Manning said he'd kicked Angela Bennett out three weeks ago. They Back instigated then. it by coming here. They had no business here. Wait, they who's in the wheelchair? He's standing right now. He What's going on? The couple called him names. This is his chair. And that's oh. Because she rocks like what I felt too bad about. I really didn't think. Superman, sure, he can't be a villain. Was standing there. All right, all right, I feel yeah, bad now. Because his voice is old and sweet. <laughs> he looks like Stan Lee if he didn't make it. Yeah. <laughs> I do like feel kind of bad because he kicked them out and now they're coming back. It don't yeah. make no sense. Because if they're coming back, then they're they're the they're What there if for it's trouble. there for their deposit? And he was like, no, man, like I'm not giving you your deposit. That's back. true. I don't know this story. That area doesn't sound like they do deposits. They look like they trade pies and rum. True. That's about it. <laughs> well, you ain't getting your pie back because it turned to poopy already. So, you still stick to your out. ugly people rule? He's not that bad in the video. In now what? In the mugshot, he looked like a demon. Did you learn a lesson? Did you learn a lesson about your facial prejudice? No, because on a on a good day, I let him off the hook. On a bad day, he's getting kicked in the stomach, homie. Bam! <laughs> just like that. Sometimes there's people I walk by on the street, and then I'm just like, your hair makes me want to fucking sock you in the throat, dude. You know who makes me feel that way? Smelly people. Hell, that's even worse! That is worse. Smelly people makes me want to take their face and drag it on the floor because it is not fair that we have to breathe that in. <laughs> and you know you smell. And if someone looks good or like they take time to like dress nice or whatever, I, it to me, I'm like bipolar when it comes to looking, like visuals, right? So I'm like, oh, thank you. Like I want to give them a fucking million dollars if I could because it's like, thank you for dressing nice. That was for me. <laughs> but if they're fucking nasty, I'm like, man, fuck you, you fucking sack of shit. Wait, then why don't you always dress nice then? Because I'm the observer. It's what about nice. Jess? Are you saying she doesn't dress nice? <laughs> no, I'm saying like, what about for Jess? Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were saying they dress with When them. you're a couple, no, oh my God, you. that's real love. You fart in front of each other. You let everything just relax. No it's, it's interesting when a really pretty person walks by, like how fast they grab your attention. It's so fascinating. Like you just. Oh yeah, there was this flight attendant. She was so beautiful. Not a key, huh, for you? Huh? See, girls can do that, huh? What? Like when another girl walks by, like wow, you are just, uh, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't tell her anything, but yeah, like she was just like she just kept grabbing me and Casey's attention. We're like, oh, we could just stare at her forever. What was so hot about her? Not that she was hot. It was just like she had like this really classic beauty about her like she was just like a time good. capsule lady just yeah. some women dude they walk by you just like it's like they walk by in slow-mo and then little flower petals are coming out from there yeah, yeah <laughs> you know like what that. i mean it's like, like, she could have been like a disney princess like she was just yeah so man some of them dude those women are crazy dude there's some really good looking dudes too i don't think guys walk around and then like dandelion things fall, fall or like i don't think that yeah yeah when a really good looking guy walks by i almost like dude don't walk next to me man it's just, by comparison it's just not good like <laughs> You go up that way a little bit. Those fools are also rare too. Yeah. Like to have a, a dude like catch your attention like, whoa, shit, that guy's good looking. You know who, who are really good looking? The Sodarso brothers. They, they are, are pretty fucking good looking. But they're, I think they're like way better looking in pictures because in real life they're just goofy and they look, you know, they're just like, <laughs> oh. they're, like they're like junior high kids. Oh, they don't have the cool guy swag. Yeah, yeah. There's there's dudes that walk in a room and they take your breath away. Mm. You're oh, like, whoa. You're talking about you're talking about the Sudarso brothers in like 20 years. And the pictures, like, like the handsome man. Oh, you know look, what it is? Right? They have the visual package, but they don't have that, you know what I mean? That Italian smooth guy, fucking, I know I got a fat dick type of dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a human stallion? They're hella good looking, though. Like David Beckham. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, he has that presence, like, 
don't come near me because you're I'm gonna look like a fucking pimple next to you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If humans were animals, they are like the thoroughbreds. Yeah. And I'm like mm -hmm. the chimpanzee. I feel like when he walks by, you just Very smell true. burnt cigars and whiskey and pussies just get wet. Oh yeah. It smells good though. Yeah. Like those things don't usually smell very good, but they you smell. You just good smell like them. swisher sweets and wet pussy when he walks by. They're like what Dracar Nor tries to be. Ah Who's yes. That? It's a, it's, a, it's a cologne. Like a spicy cologne. Oh. That's what they try to be. That's the type of man I'm talking about. You smell like fucking treated leather, homie. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what it's like to be like that, though. To be a dude like that? Yeah. It's so easy to get girls that they become gay. <laughs> <laughs>